Well, good afternoon, Ebenezer family. It's Pastor Brian. I uh, just wanted to share with you some uh, quick thoughts uh, that I had on uh, my devotion uh, from today. I've been reading uh, the last several days in the Gospel of John. And uh, I was reading John chapter 1 and then over into John chapter 7 and just had some uh, things that uh, come to mind as I'm jotting things down. I want to share these things with you as we uh, look there at John chapter 1. We see a lot of different names or titles uh, for Jesus. Listen to these out of John 1. Uh, John calls him the Word. Uh, said that he was God. Uh, he was in the beginning. Uh, that in him was life, uh, that Jesus was the light of men. It says that Jesus was the true light. It goes on in that chapter saying that Jesus became flesh and that he dwelt among us. John the Baptist called Jesus the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. He's called the Son of God, the Messiah. One of the first disciples, when he is first introduced to Jesus, he says, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. And even Jesus refers to himself as the son of man. So in that opening chapter, we see so many different titles uh, for Jesus. And we see as people met Jesus, as they encountered him, we see what they believed about Jesus and that they were quick to put their faith and their trust in him, calling him even from the very beginning there, the son of God. You are the Messiah. You are the king. But what a difference we see when we go over into John chapter 7 and we see a lot of disputes and we see a lot of arguments and divisions over who people think Jesus is. We see what they believe about Jesus. Now, listen to these things. John chapter 7 says that the Jews were seeking to kill Jesus. His brothers did not believe in him. It says Jesus would even make the comment. He says, the world hates me. Some would say that he leads people astray. They even questioned the authority that Jesus had to even be uh, talking about religious things because they said he's not even studied. He don't even have a degree. Who is he to be trying to teach us? One said, you have a demon. Then they come in and says, we know where you come from, but the, the real Christ, the real Messiah, you know, nobody's going to know where he comes from. And so we see just a, a, a huge difference between John 1 and John 7 as to what some believed about Jesus in being the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of God, the Word of God who, who became flesh and dwelt among us and those who said you have a demon, you are not from God, you should not even be speaking to us. And what I learned from that is that what you believe about Jesus really makes a huge difference. Now, understand this. What you believe about Jesus, <laughs> it doesn't change who he is, whether you put your faith and trust in Jesus or not. He truly is the Messiah. He is the Christ, the anointed one of God. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That doesn't change. What you believe about Jesus does not change him, but it does change you. It changes you, just like the apostle John. He was changed from being a fisherman to a follower of Christ. What you believe about Christ can change you from being a child of the world and a child of Satan to being a child of the Most High God an heir with Jesus Christ. What you believe about Jesus can change your eternity. You can be eternally separated from Christ in hell 
or you can have eternal life with Jesus Christ and be with him forever. What you believe about Jesus makes all the difference in the world for you. He is Christ. He is King. He is Lord. And nothing changes that. Will you believe him to be your Savior and to be your Lord? Will you trust in him as truly the Lamb of God who does take away the sins of the world, who takes away your sins? Would you call on him today?